She saw through darkness the white flame of glory and followed steadfast, blessing the sacred hour. Though skies rained death, she stood erect, a tower of English stones cut from an ancient quarry, tender of years, of spirit old in story. The flag of confidence she could not lower, to men of flesh and fear she would not cower, but made the world's despair her oratory. The sun come back at last, she did not swerve, and told us all we know of her. I serve. Monarchs of time's grey shroud, your regal line upon the ceasing of a father's heart blossomed in her so young. Aside, apart, she drank death's fatal news like sorrow's wine, but knew in her the people would enshrine remembrance of their kings. Thence to depart, Upon a voyage only love could chart, Her destiny with ours to intertwine. Elizabeth, thy life thou yet dost give, That these, thy realms, in peace and freedom live. Lily of the valley for England's bride, White jasmine of Scotland, fit for a crown. Orchid of Wales, for thy sweet praises grown. Carnation of Erin, that good be tied. Yet even these, though in their spring of pride, Could not surpass the beauty thou dost own, Nor rival thee in virtue or renown. Where they have withered, Thou alone abide, wherefore thy subjects keep this joyful hour to honour thee, these islands' fairest flower. Slow as the long procession of the years, where kings have paced upon this holy ground, since thy first sires, long ages past, were crowned, didst thou go forth amidst thy nation's peers? By what alignment of celestial spheres wert thou, good princess, to thy people bound? By solemn rites that to thy fame redound, thy mourning heart, yet hiding grief's warm tears? We knew that this was by the will of God, that thou hadst come to rule this cherished sod. The air is cold where the confessor lies, as frigid as our empty world's dead soul. What once burned bright now darkens black as coal and every form of social kindness dies. How many others, wise or not so wise, upon this chair yet played their destined role to keep the faith of Peter pure and whole and win from heaven heaven's promised prize. Lest, like a limb cut off the tree of grace, should England wilt and fade without a trace. Upon thy brow descends the wreath of time, beneath the proud assembly's watchful gaze. Thus end the years of worry and malaise, thus come the years of Britain in her prime. The people's cheers now echo through my rhyme, 
the luster of thy crown breaks through the haze of that lost day to stir our present praise that flies to thee from every distant clime for lo these seven decades thou hast reigned through each we loved thee well with love unfeigned The crown of Edward resting on thy head, Before thee kneels thy liege of life and limb. To thee thy prince, thyself his queen to him, Who by a kiss his love to duty wed. Alas, the days of Eglantine have fled, And time has made fair youth's escutcheon dim. How few remain to chant the ancient hymn Of chivalry forgotten with the dead. Yet we had seen what we most hoped to see, The valour of our kings renewed in thee.